I'm very curious how did how did Putin view Ukraine in the nineties and and how did that how did his his concept of history and Ukrainian history what is his what is his view on that and and how did that change? Yes, uh, the, the the war, uh, the current uh, stage of the war, uh, started with uh, Putin publishing an historical essay, or maybe sort of historical essay, on uh, which was titled "On the um, Historical Unity of Russians and Ukrainians." And it was a long historical uh, historical expose that was supporting the the argument, the statement that was in the very first paragraph of the essay. And it was the, the statement was that Russians and Ukrainians were one and the same people. And uh, uh, what that really meant was that Ukrainians are really Russians. So they don't exist as a separate nation, or at least not supposed to exist. And that is a major departure from uh, the Soviet policies. Uh, in the Soviet Union, Russia and Ukraine were at least pro forma recognized as equal republics. And of course, there was a recognition that Ukraine is a separate nation. Where uh, Putin's uh, really rejection of that model is coming from, it is coming from the Russian imperial uh, writers and thinkers of the late 19th and the beginning of the 20th century was Russian imperial vision that there were no separate Ukrainian nation. There were uh, maybe separate, separate quote unquote tribe, or separate uh, uh, group within a big Russian nation. And uh, that, that idea really comes back to Russia in the 1990s exactly at the time when Putin and uh, people of his generation, uh, they got certainly disappointed with the ideas of communism, with the Bolshevik experiment, and were looking for alternative ways of understanding reality around them. And they found them in the writings of the Russian imperial thinkers or the emigres. So some of um, authors that, that Putin reads like philosopher Ilyin, like the uh, memoirs of the Russian general of the revolutionary era and civil war, Anton Dunikin, they all transmit these ideas really that came into existence in, in the late uh, Russian empire. For um, generations of the, of the young Soviet uh, apparatchiks and KGB officers and party uh, officials, uh, these ideas were presented and repackaged by the um, uh, laureate of, of the Nobel Prize in Literature, um, Alexander Solzhenitsyn. So Solzhenitsyn is a classic Russian nationalist who repackaged the, the Russian imperial ideas in the new context. He was very anti-communist. He wrote Archipelag Gulag. He himself was a prisoner of Gulag, so there was no love lost for any sort of the communist experimentation. But the alternative was Russian imperial, Russian imperial paradigm, a little bit adjusted to the to the new realities, and that what became the 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 the, the, the foundation for Putin's thinking and thinking of uh, some people around him as well. That's where these ideas are coming from. Solzhenitsyn uh, is, is, is one of the favorite uh, Putin's, uh, Putin's writers. He certainly um, uh, visited him before he died. He took special, special care of um, uh, all sorts of memorialization uh, of, of uh, Solzhenitsyn. Um, so um, in, in that sense, again, uh, Putin um, is certainly um, very much responsible for this war, including through his actions and through his, uh, through his statements and writings, but it's not just a Putin phenomenon, it's, 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 a, broader, it's a broader phenomenon. 